When we had last left, Andreas, he had followed up on some of the very intriguing evidence he had uncovered in the library. Yes, he traveled over to the nun zone and spoke with nuns, and it was there that he learned of Baron Lorenz Rothvogel's violent past. But now it was time to go and check on Otto wherever he may be, and perhaps finally grab a meal with Sabat. This is Pentiment. Welcome back. Let's head on out. There we go. Hey, Till. Good. Hey, maybe Otto works over at the mill? I don't think so, though. Oh, shit. This asshole is here now. We can't, like, eat here, can we? No. There's no chow down icon. Okay. Hey, Lenhart. Morning. You're the Gertner's boarder, aren't you? How could you tell? Oh, reactivity to heaven and earth. You're as filthy as a farmer, but you don't smell like sheep. Quite unlike the Gertners. They're farmers. You expect them to act like kings? They're rustic folk, to be sure. They're farmers. You expect them to act like kings? A little dignity wouldn't hurt them. They bleat like sheep when times get hard. Only Ava's got a backbone. How is she, by the way? What does she matter to you? She's fine. Why? She's fine. Why? I'm only curious. She used to bring their barley to me. But Peter insists on delivering it now. A shame she'd shown some curiosity about the mill. I'd hope to foster that. Flanders reactivity. I haven't seen such a marvelous windmill since my time in Flanders. Right, we even commented on it, it being odd to see it here of all places. It is a handsome mill. Is there something special about it? Let's use the reactivity. Haven't seen such a marvelous windmill since my time in Flanders. There are many in the farmlands along the... Lee, Particularly west of Ghent. Ah, the Lee. Is that how you say it? Yeah, it must be, because it's like Francophone, right? A lovely, uh, range of hills. Right. Flanders' is famous hills. River, actually. It's the... Lee in Flanders. The Lee in France. This guy's full of shit, huh? Oh, look. I bet his, um... His typography... Gets downgraded or something. After we say this. Because he puts on an air of being more educated than he really is. Right? And he's such a... He's a, It's a doubly bad because he's such a prick, too. Okay. River, actually. It's the Lee in Flanders. The Lee in France. <laughs> of course, the Lee. I misheard you. She's the only windmill in Bavaria. Did you know? <laughs> Constructed in exacting detail from Dutch specifications. The gem of the Alps. And <laughs> none of the incurious dolts here can appreciate it. Except you. Huh. Yes, I'm sure it's the peasants who are the problem. I suspect they have more urgent matters on their minds. I suspect they have more urgent matters on their minds. I should be going. Until later. Until then, Mahler. Oh no, it did not go down in quality or whatever. Okay, what's it doing in Bavaria? We still don't have a store for that. Let's pet this fun-loving dog. There we are. Oh. Oh. One of those, like, scraggly, long, rat-like dogs. Right? In a fun way, though. Rat-like in a fun way. Hey, Else. Or Elsa. I don't know how you say it. Good morning. Ah, uh, forgive me. I've forgotten your name. Andreas Mahler, Master Artist. 
Oh, a master at such a young age? It's impressive. Well, I admit I'm not quite a master yet. Still finishing my masterpiece. Then why'd we lead with that? Indeed so. Still finishing my masterpiece. What is that like? Fulfilling a dream. Hard work, but it pays off in the end. Hmm. I think this is more in line with our character, right? Fulfilling a dream. Ah, I wish I could dream. You can. You have the right, just like anyone. It's not for everyone. <laughs> it's not for everyone. <laughs> what a response. You can. You have the right, just like anyone. To do what? I've my family to care for. Lenhart, Paul, my sweet angel. Paul is the other yeah, kid. The mill. Oh, I apologize. We didn't even get properly introduced. You must be Elsa Mullerin? Ah, uh, you're the miller's wife. You must be Else Mullerin? Yes, that's me. I heard Clara and Ava had an artist boarding with them. That must be very exciting. They've treated me very well. They seem to enjoy having someone new in the home. They've treated me very well. Perhaps Ava more than Clara, hmm? What? Why? Oh, I only meant living on a farm among the townspeople. Isn't it very lively? Only when Peter starts raving about the miller's toll. Only when ill Peter wakes up in the night and can't find the chamber pot. So far, it seems a life like most others. It's, it's a life like most others. Oh, but have you not traveled much? Artists go on a wander here, yes? There must be many differences in the way people live. Oh, Flanders. I imagine Antwerp will soon become the gem of the Northern Sea. It was illustrious. My, so much out there. But I have to take care of my darling Paul. He's so shy. I pray the Lord may someday bless us with a daughter. Oh. Else? <laughs> Have you finished with your gabble? There's work that needs doing. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I have to get to my labors. Of course, I apologize if I've bothered you. Until later, Mistress Mullerin. Until then. Well, she fucking hates it here. <laughs> she fucking hates him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Alright, look up there. Glass windows, probably made in the low count countries. Head on over here. Hey, Thomas. God be with you, Andreas. Okay. Over here. What was, the what, what was Otto's last name again? Let's see. People. Hmm. Otto. Otto Zimmerman. Okay. Well, we know of the Zimmermans. Let's see here. Yeah, there they are. Great. Okay. So do I need to go down here? No, not yet. We'll continue along this way. Town Commons, I think. Zimmerman House. Great. Oh, old Otto, too, is out here sawing at a log. Hey. Andreas. Careful to eat dinner with can't eat dinner with me and Otto. I'd like that. Thank you. I can't just now, Otto, but thank you. Yeah, not just yet. I want to talk to everybody in the house. As you like. Let's check inside. Or actually, let's run around here and see if there's anyone outside who has something peculiar going on. Hey Andres, what's up? Anything new? Hello, Andreas. Okay. Let's head on in. Hey, look! Otto's even cooking something up. Anyone else in here? Just the two of them. Right. Okay. Yeah, because wasn't Otto talking about flirting with someone? 
Forgot who, though. Hey, Otto. The younger. <laughs> Did you have dinner plans, Andreas? Want to join me and Dad at our table? I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Maybe another time, Otto. Fuck yeah, let's eat. Let's get going, then. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty. Through Christ our Lord, amen. 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 How are you feeling today, Dad? Head's been killing me. Back's been killing me. Damn knees been killing me. You want some advice, boys? Don't get old. <laughs> Andreas says, "Is there some way I could help? I'm not as educated as I'm not as educated as Doctor Stoltz, but I studied medicine in a, in university. Hope you find some relief soon, old Otto. Think about death." <laughs> That's the last option. <laughs> I just think about death. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I know there's reactivity up there, but honestly, I really want to click on think about death. And I'm laughing now. I'm laughing it up. But that is exactly what I do in real life under, under these circumstances. I silently start to think about death. I don't know about you, gentle viewer, but it haunts me. <laughs> Let's think about death. <laughs> Frown. <laughs> eh, you're young and you live soft. You'll keep a few years yet. Not like my boy here. Age beyond his years. You work too hard, son. But what choice do you have, eh? None. With the abbot breathing down my neck. I tell you, he wants me to replace the roof on- I tell you, he wants me to replace the roof on his house next? Didn't you just replace the one in the scriptorium? Is that why you were felling wood in the forest? Didn't you just replace the one in the scriptorium? Yeah, and I- Yeah, and I made a mess of my shoulder doing it. The way that bastard Gerno orders me around, you'd think I'm the one- You'd think I'm one of his little monks. Oh, fuck, I did it again. I just ate some food. <laughs> I don't even know what I ate. It looked good, though. He walks here like a dog and says it's for the glory of the Lord. It's not right. But the work does need to be done. And Otto's the only carpenter in town. It's not. I agree. Hmm. The work does need to be done. But that, that doesn't make it right. It's not right. I agree. Easy enough for you to say when it's my work that keeps you warm when you're scribbling away in that scriptorium. Apologies. It was not Christian of me to put that on you. But neither am I wrong. The abbot's bad, but the miller might be worse. That shithead Lenhart's been screwing us for years with his toll. I've never spoken to him. Is he really so bad? He's worse he's worse even than you know, or will ever have to know, being a visitor, for which you should thank the Lord. Imagine, your only income for the year was in the wheat you could grow in the summer, and the miller determines how much it costs you to grind into how much it costs you to grind into flour. What if you have a... A poo season? Like a shit season? Is that a typo? Is... A poor season? <laughs> what, what if you have a poor season? What if the miller raises his toll? What if everyone has a great season and there's too much damn flour to make any money with it? The far... The farmers are at the mercy of the weather. The church and the miller. Two of those are beyond their power to influence. But the miller is their neighbor. He sees them struggle. He should help them. But not Lenhart Muller. He only takes more. Fine, but I hadn't considered it like that. Say nothing. 
Yeah, I hadn't considered it like that. Let's be amicable here. I thought that's why I was doing it first, but I feel like I did the exact opposite when I was saying that. Lord willing, Lenhart will meet justice in this life or the next. Lord willing. I suspect I know which Otto prefers. Lord willing. On to more pleasant pastures, eh? You see any of those nuns while you were working, Otto? Dad. <laughs> Rye bread or salmon? Oh, fuck. Yes, salmon. I remember that Cecilia woman being pleasant to look at back when I worked up there. <laughs> Did you pay much attention to the nuns, Otto? Old Otto? Mother Cecilia would not appreciate being spoken about that way. <laughs> Did you pay much attention to the nuns, old Otto? Oh, I paid attention to everything now that I can't work. Lots to see in the world. Like... nuns. <laughs> Mother Cecilia would not appreciate being spoken about that way. <laughs> Let's see it. I don't mean anything by it. Just using the eyes the Lord gave me in the way he intended men to use them. Other pretty sisters up there as well. Something they catch the wrong... Sometimes they catch the wrong man's eye. Oh, he knows. He's alluding to... Rothvogel. Shame what happened to that one a while back. Glad she came back, though. Sister Matilda. I heard she had a run-in with the Baron. Child down on some rye bread. We knew she was attacked. Heard rumors the Baron was responsible. We never learned the details. Abbey business and all. Still, a pretty woman since she came back. But her kidneys turned some kind of sad. Or her kind eyes turned some kind of sad. Now, if you want to hear all of... All of Tassing's little secrets... You should go to the spinning bee. Ugh, oh, that gaggle. You can hear him cackling from here. I was invited to attend. Should I go? The what? Should I go? Sure, if you're interested. I always get a kick out of it. Not just because Ava's here. Certainly doesn't hurt. Hey, son, I need to lay down. Why don't you say goodbye to your friend here? <laughs> Sorry, Andres. The old man needs his rest. Rest well, old Otto. Of course. Thank you for having me. Rest well, old Otto. <laughs> don't know what you mean. Ain't any old men in this house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus. It's like my fucking uncle. <laughs> Time to get back to work. Okay. Huh. Anything over here? What is this? Are these cabbages? Yeah, must be. Okay. Great. Oh, hey. Now younger Otto is out. Right, of course. Afternoon, Andreas. Heard that barren friend of yours was killed up at the Abbey. It was a tragedy. It was a terrible tragedy. The world lost a great man. My mentor, Brother Piero, has been blamed for the crime. I'm surprised he wasn't killed sooner. It seems he had many enemies at the Abbey and in town. Let's go with that. Let's let him really know our thoughts, right? It will be remembered. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. <laughs> you got that right. Can't think of anyone in Tassi who liked the man. Anyway, did you need something? Otherwise, I got things to do. Do you think you could help me dig up a grave at the Abbey? We just, we just come clean with it. <laughs> Hold on. What's your problem with Lorenz? I mean, I do want to get your help. Is saying hold on. Look, I'm thinking back to our time playing Disco Elysium. Let's, let's, let's see how it goes. Hold on. What's your problem with Lorenz? Though there would have been holed up, I think. He treated Lucky terribly, and Lucky is a good man. That, I think, is reason enough. 
But it's not my place to discuss Lucky's troubles with you. If you want to know more, ask him yourself. I see. Perhaps I'll do that. I don't think he cares for me. I think he does care for me. Perhaps I'll do that. Anyway, do you think you could help me dig up a grave at the Abbey? <laughs> Depends. What's in the grave? <laughs> He's very chill about it, too. <laughs> I believe something might be hidden there. Could be related to the Baron's murder. Something more than a dead man- a dead monk, you mean? That's a weird place to hide something. But, then again, it's not every day people go digging around in a graveyard. I hope. Did you talk to the abbot about this mischief? Wouldn't want to get my grubby hands all over his stuff without his permission. Lie. Of course, the abbot knows all about it. No. Actually, he expressly forbade it. Uh, I don't want to get Otto in trouble if he doesn't want to. I thought he would be down to clown. Actually, he expressly forbade it. Oh, shit! <laughs> There's a reactivity to me being truthful. <laughs> And you still want me to do it? Sure, why not? <laughs> Fuck yeah, Otto. He is down to clown. It'll take a few hours, though. Especially if I'm digging alone. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. In that case, let's wait. You don't care that the abbot said we shouldn't? You don't care? What do I give a shit if he gets mad? He's an asshole. <laughs> Did you want to do this now or not? Uh, let me take care of a few things first. Yeah, we should go try and talk to Lucky. Alright, don't be too long. I got actual work to do. <laughs> Dude, Otto's alright. <laughs> Fucking A. Okay, let's go over here. Good, good, good. Oh hey, look who it is. <laughs> staring out of his window. <laughs> he's like a- he's like a cat! <laughs> Look at him, he's like a fucking town cat looking out. <laughs> hey Ulrich, what's going on? Okay, same as usual. Anna? Okay, how about you, Gret? Okay, yeah. All same as usual. Hellos and hellies. Hellies. <laughs> Alright. There's Lucky. Let's see if he's got anything to say. Oh. Little Schlau as well. Let's give it a pet. There you go. Oh. Yeah, I forgot Lucky was a stonemason. Hello, Andreas. Something you need? Something occurred to me while we were eating. I can see you're busy, so I'll keep it brief. Something occurred to me while we were eating. Andreas, I have things to do. Father Thomas needs me to help out at the church. After that, I'm going fishing with old Otto. Yep, old Otto. So if you don't need me to repair a wall or a fallen chimney, then leave me be. I can see you're busy, so I'll keep it brief. I'd hope to ask you a few questions about Baron Rothvogel. I don't think so. No? But it'll only take a moment. Why not? It'll only take a moment. Ask your questions of someone else. I saw you shouting at the Baron when he arrived in Tassing. What was that about? Andreas. I don't understand why you're being so reticent. Huh. Do you think we should lay off? Maybe we can ask someone else about it? Alright, I won't press you. Good day, Andreas. He was not being forthright with me, and he seems eager to get away. If I wait here, maybe he'll leave and I can observe his actions. But should I do it now? It will probably take a while. I'll follow Lucky now. I'll observe Lucky later. Observe later. Maybe we can go in and look for something, or talk to Agnes, even. Hey. No, nothing. Okay. Hmm. 
All right. Fair enough. Well, let's go meet with Otto and get that dealt with. Here. Good. Okay. Here we are. Ready to go dig up that grave? It's gonna take a few hours. That all right with you? Not like you have any place to be. I'm ready. Let's go. Fine. I'll grab my tools. <laughs> I love that I'm just chilling. <laughs> So, Town Carpenter, what's that? Er, so, Town Carpenter, what's that like? Exhausting. I don't like this here. Satisfying, too. To make things with my hands. To feel the sun on my neck and sap under my fingers. And I haven't fallen off a roof yet. So all in all, I can't complain. Did you want to be a carpenter? Being the only carpenter in Tassing must keep you busy. Did you want to be a carpenter? Yeah, it never crossed my mind that I'd do anything else. I was always going to do what my father did. How else would I have learned? But I like being a carpenter. It's necessary work. Keeps me talking to everyone in town and aware of what's troubling them. Many people in Tassing are struggling, Andreas. The peasants especially. I heard as much from Clara Gertner. Isn't it... Gertner? Maybe it's Gertner, for real. Aren't the peasants always struggling? I heard as much from Clara. They used to be able to pay a portion of their taxes and crops, but the abbot put an end to that. Now if they get a bad price from Miller, they don't have enough to pay the abbey. That's exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. The abbot might own the land, but he doesn't work it. He just reaps the benefits of others' efforts. But it's not just him. The law, imperial law, that's what gives him the power. So maybe the laws have to change. I had no idea it was so bad. My family are all artists. Someone should do something about that. <laughs> this is very on the nose. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is very on the nose of what's going on here. <laughs> Okay, I had no idea. It was so bad. My family are all artists. You're from Nuremberg, right? Well away from peasants' problems. I'd be surprised if you did know. Good thing you came to Tassing. You can't... What? Oh, typo. You can get a real education in how the world works. Anyway, I should get back to digging. It's gonna take a while. This is all on my own. Oh. <laughs> we don't actually do anything? Okay. <laughs> Got a ways to go yet. Why don't you take a look around? Oh, we're t in take a look around mode, huh? Gotcha. What's this? Hi! Pater, Pater Matthias, de Geneva, Ab oh, oh, okay, <laughs> Father Matthias is here, <laughs> with a wooden headstone, too, things must be worse from the, for the Abbey than I thought, shouldn't abbots be buried with more marble, the rest of the abbots are in the crypt or under the church, I took a look at them while inspecting the foundation with Endris, and Endris is, yeah, the smith. Kearsaw is built on top of an old Roman fort. Not cheap to maintain by any means. Still, I'm surprised that the Abbey doesn't have enough money to pay for a new tomb. Surely they can do better than a wooden gravestone. Hmm. Still, I'm surprised the Abbey doesn't have enough money to pay for a new tomb. I heard the Abbot and the Prior arguing back when I repaired the scriptorium roof. Whatever problems Kearsaw's having, they've been going on a while. Hmm. Anything new going on here? A monument to the founder of the Abbey. It's fairly recent. The funds were donated by her descendants. Oh, another inter interactable. 
Brother Jacob from Cologne. Did you ever meet him? Cologne, large, powerful, free imperial city on the River Rhine. It is a major hub for commerce between Italy and the Netherlands. It is also a popular site for pilgrims, as its cathedral contains relics of the three wise men, represented as crowns on their arms. Holy shit, really? Okay. We spoke a couple times. He was a funny man. Just about the only one of these monks with a sense of humor. A funny monk. I'm sad to have missed him. Some of them aren't so bad. Piero especially knows how to laugh. Oh, let's be nice about Piero. If you say so. Jacob had a gift for manipulating his features. And his voice to imitate the other monks. A man like that wasted at an abbey. Hmm. How about over here? Another headstone, or gravestone, whichever you prefer. Sister Maria, the librarian. Probably before your time. I was a boy when she passed. My father spoke well of her, though. Said she reminded him of his own grandmother. A sweet woman who loved the Lord. I expect the abbot will have her dug up soon. <laughs> Ah, for the crypt? Pardon? Pardon? The brothers and sisters are buried here until their bodies decompose, and they're dug up and moved to the Abbey's crypt. A ghoulish tradition, I've always thought. What's dead should remain buried. But then, they don't have much space here, and many of the monks aren't long for death themselves, so... Huh, yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, shit. It's... Matthew. Oh shit, he's gonna see us digging. Maybe he won't notice. Short, angry monk coming this way. Ah, oh, hell. We're destined for an earful. I better hide. Shit. Matthew's not going to like this. I could hide, but I'd be putting Otto in a tough spot. He's not going to be happy with me if he has to deal with Matthew on his own. Nah, we're in this together. Even if I'm not the one digging at all. <laughs> But this could be the clue that unlocks the truth about who killed Lorenz. It's not worth it. That's a little trouble if it saves an innocent man's life. I feel like we'll figure it out either way. I better hide. Oh, hell, we're destined for an earful. Nah. We we stand our ground with Otto. Maybe we'll it'll go over well because we're already on good terms with Matthew slightly. Is all well here? We're digging up a grave. How are you? Are we saying that maybe his vision is so bad he doesn't realize what's going on? <laughs> like he can't see it? <laughs> Listen, as someone who has really bad eyesight without glasses too, it's possible. <laughs> Look, if I'm in the shower, I can't see shit. <laughs> I'm completely fucked. Uh, why would it not be? Why have you coerced the carpenter into digging up the late brother Gerhard? As someone has disturbed this grave, and I suspect it's connected with the Baron's murder. Lie. I didn't coerce anyone. The abbots approved this. It's fine. Huh. Let's be honest about it. Fuck it. Someone disturbed this grave, and I suspect it's connected with the Baron's murder. Huh. That is curious, if you're telling the truth. Even so, Brother Gerhard's grave is not your concern. You're not a member of his of this community, Andreas. Oh shit. And then we had to lie. We were forced into lying. Fuck. The abbot gave his permission. The rest is not your business. As a circuiter, it's my duty to prevent for what? To prevent from mischief such as this. Uh-oh. I'm terribly convincing. It's the hat that gives me an air of authority. Persuade Matthew? Am I persuading? Oh, fuck, it failed. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you are mistaken. Master Zimmerman, please clean up this mess. I'm going to speak with the abbot about this immediately. Oh, shit, we're so fucked. 
We're so fucked. Is that going to cause problems for you? I'll talk it over with the abbot. Work things out. It may. <laughs> Proving Piero's innocence is what matters. I'm not worried about anything else. Hmm. Proving Piero's innocence is what matters. I'm not worried about anything else. Fuck it. You got convictions after all. Huh. Well, the sun won't wait, so I better get back to digging. <laughs> Yo, Otto is so fucking down to clown. <laughs> fucking A, dude. Otto fucking owns. <laughs> okay, anything else? Yeah, got a ways to go yet. <laughs> sure thing, man. I'll, I'll just fuck around in the cemetery a bit more. <laughs> Let's see. What's over this way? Got one more to look at? Sure. Mother Brunhild. Abatissa? I doubt anyone's in that one. Given the age, I'd guess she's long been moved to the Abbey crypt by now. You worried Father Garno might try to punish us for this? God willing, we'll be done before he finds out about it. <laughs> so you want me to speed it up? Sure, what do you care about my back? Christ. <laughs> well, I've reached the body, but... What? Is something wrong with it? Looks fine enough, decay notwithstanding. But someone stuffed a sack up under his ribs. Good God, let me see. Oh, we didn't get to see the body? Oh shit, what the fuck is this? Ah, arcane tools. They could serve no other purpose. What a strange collection of objects. Oh fuck. Man, Ferenc is definitely involved in this in some way, but I'm, I don't know, I don't feel like he's the killer, right? Why bother with hiding so much shit? Like, why bother with all the cloak and dagger if he's just going to go out of his way to kill the dude, right? Why be concerned with the, like, blackmail if you just intend to, like, get rid of him? You know? I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't add up there. Something about it doesn't add up to me. About it being potentially Ferenc. But he is definitely somehow tied to all of this. I don't know if directly the murder, but he's very much um, undergoing important shit, at least for with regards to the Baron, not necessarily the Baron's killing. Ah, arcane tools. They could serve no other purpose. Occult reactivity. Tools? What do you mean? What would you use these for? Magic. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! Two are plated with precious metals and engraved a silver chased rod and a golden plate. The rod has symbols of the zodiac on it. The plate has some script I don't recognize. <gasps> and a knife. Seems ordinary enough, but together with the other two buried here. Why would someone bury them here together? Because they're forbidden. Wait, there's blood in some of the symbols on this rod. Dried, to be certain, but not that old. Ferenc tried cleaning this, but wasn't able to remove all of the blood. Could this be what was used to kill Lorenz? No. No way. Who buried this here anyway? I can't say, but it may be connected to the Baron's murder. Well, I suppose that's part of the mystery. Well, <laughs> I don't see any reason to lie here. Hmm. That's fascinating, though. Like, the object doesn't check out with what we learned when we looked at the body, right? It doesn't add up. I don't think it's entirely related. Just like I said with Ferenc in general, I don't think Ferenc is directly tied to the murder just to some scandal involving the Baron. I can't say, but it may be connected to the Baron's murder. What? 
None of this makes any sense. What's going on here, Andreas? That's what I need to figure out, Otto. Thank you for your help. Holy shit, we didn't get caught. <laughs> Incredible. Oh god, I'm still standing here. <laughs> I should find someone to eat with. Occult hands, magical tools. <gasps> Bloody silver rod. I wonder whose blood it is. We should speak with Ferenc. Do you think Illuminata is in? No. Okay. Like, Ferenc does have a lot pointed at him. But I don't know, it just, like, parts of it just don't add up. Like I said, with regards to, like, if he's guilty of the killing, why did he bother at all with hiding shit? Right? Why'd he bother with all the cloak and dagger unless, like, something went sideways in the last moments? I don't know. And, like, also, when he snuck in, quote-unquote snuck into the scriptorium to look through his cipher or book or whatever the fuck, remember? He was very sneaky. Or trying to be. And in truth, he wasn't. He was incredibly bad at sneaking. You know? Huh. But I don't know if that's if that's a tell or anything. The fact that he was just so fucking bad at sneaking around like he didn't even notice me literally just doing my own shit in the same room, not even hiding. All right, Ference. It's about time we talk again. Uh, Andreas, what an awful time. Awful time. A baron murdered at Kyrsaw. These are dark days indeed. Brother Piero, I admit, I would have never thought him the type. What could have possessed him? You can't believe Brother Piero would kill the Baron. It's not in his nature. Piero is a half step from the grave. You really think he could have killed a man in his prime? Look, Piero's not here. Let's just have out with it, right? Like, you gotta be shitting me. Or should we appeal to his nature? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Because if we say you really think he could have killed a man in his prime, Ferenc could say, like, oh, he just got a sneak attack or whatever, right? He got lucky or some shit. Huh. Yeah. Let's, let's appeal to this. It's not in his nature. You can't believe Brother Piero would kill the Baron. Envy and pride inspire men to madness, Andreas. Even old men. But you have come to me for a reason. Do you need something? I found a strange note in your fireplace. It was written in an unusually fine hand. I came across an interesting letter from you, addressed to the late Baron Rothvogel. You rushed into the scriptorium and hid something strange at your desk. Not now, thank you. I wonder how much we can talk about. Maybe all of this. Let's start from the beginning. You rushed into the scriptorium and hid something strange at your desk. Pardon? And why were you sneaking about the scriptorium? I wasn't sneaking. You were just a doofus. What was it you were holding? I thought I caught a glimpse of astrological symbols. I can ask question too. Ask questions too. What was so important that... You had to be late for terse. I wasn't sneaking. I dropped a bottle of paint on the floor and was cleaning it up. Let's cover our own ass. Because it's the truth. Why not? I could have left it there if you'd preferred. The floor is rather drab in the scriptorium. I get more work done while you and the rest of the brothers are at church. I could have left it there if you'd preferred. Let's be a little snarky. This ungrateful wretch. Let us seek a common understanding, Master Mahler, as two brothers in Christ. Please, let's. I love to understand things. Say nothing. Yeah, let's come to an understanding. Ugh. The scriptorium is my domain, and you are a guest here. As long as that is true, I do not answer to you, but the abbot only. Is that clear? I suppose. 
If you don't mind me asking, why aren't you the abbot? Let's bring it up. Fuck it. It's an elected position, isn't it? Did your brothers not find you fit? Are you not better suited to the job, given your age and experience? Let's appeal to him, rather than uh, be more accusatory, right? Are you not better suited to the job? That's not... I will not discuss this with you. Are we done here? Add a few more questions, if you don't mind. Be quick about it. I came across an interesting letter from you addressed to the late Baron Rothvogel. What? Where did you get that? Lorenz's manservant, Miklaus. From an impression I made on your writing pad, are you performing occult rituals with the Baron? Let's bring up Miklaus. Yeah. Miklaus gave it to me. He thought I might shed light on who killed the Baron. It's not as it looks. He meant to coerce me into performing a ritual to help him with a... condition. Oh, his... his dick warts? Was that it? They were trying to do magic to cure his dick warts? Oh my god! But I refused, as the letter makes abundantly clear. The Baron's threat remained, and you know how fickle Inquisitors can be about what books people choose to read. Occult reactivity. The line between one who knows such rituals and one who practices them is thin as a spider's thread, prior. Medical. Ah, the French disease. Let's go with that, because that's like what I brought up in real life. The French disease. I noticed he had a sore on his sex when Brother Florian was examining him. He was likely taking mercury for treatment. It can cause curious behavior at high doses. Huh. It can cause curious behavior at high doses. Hmm. Interesting. Let's not bring Brother Florian into this. He was likely taking mercury for treatment. It can cause curious behavior at high doses. The mercury might explain his cavalier attitude toward our mutual interest. He seemed to believe he was untouchable, and I am under no such illusions. What could you have possibly had in common? Books. I am the prior of, Kyrsal, of the Kyrsal Scriptorium. One of the few of its kind left in Christendom. Modest though the Abbey may be, our library contains works on subjects rarely found beyond its walls, certainly not all in the same place. For men of certain academic interests, it is perhaps the only place we may meet and discuss them. A cult. I've always thought it's a perfectly reasonable area of study, so long as you avoid certain subjects. Yet he threatened to expose you to the Church Inquisitors. Let's try to appeal to him with our occult specialty. It's a rich area for scholarly insight. The Baron's interest was more than ap academic. When he wished to make it practical, I refused. There was nothing more to it. I see. Now is that all? I have duties I really should attend to. I had a few more questions if you don't mind. Fine. I found a strange note in your fireplace. It was written in an unusually fine hand. Fine hand. I found others around Tassing with the same hand that seemed to have appeared out of nowhere. What were you doing in my home? Just having a look around, seeing the sights. That is my private space. You can't just just wander about like it's the public square. What if someone had been attempting to gruesomely murder you? There's a killer on the loose, Prior Ference. Have you tried putting up a sign? Trespassers hate signs. Let's <laughs> listen, Prior Ference. I'm looking out for you. There's a killer on the loose. You impossible! Ah! Any person of manners knows better than to go snooping through others' things. I have nothing to hide. Then why burn the note? What was left was difficult to read, but I could make out the Red Bird Martins. 
was a strange little thing I found on my desk after waking up for Martins. It meant nothing to me, so I put it in the fire. It wasn't there when you went to sleep? Not that I noticed, but again, Andreas, it was small. I could have easily overlooked it. Surely it's just a loose scrap. But the hand was handsome, you're correct. Unlike anything penned by the brothers in the scriptorium, to be certain. How unsettling. Do you remember what the note said? Who has access to your home? Who has access to your home? Everyone in this abbey. But what does it matter to you? It was just a scrap of paper. I'm not sure yet. I have a strange feeling about it. I found a similar note in the Baron's affects, effects while Flor Brother Florian was performing his initial examination. I'm not going to bring up Florian. I'm not sure yet. I just have a strange feeling about it. Perhaps you should pray the Lord settles your spirit so I might have some quiet. But don't you find the coincidence strange? No. We operate a scriptorium, Master Mahler. And House, perhaps the largest library in Bavaria. We are awash in parchment scraps. They multiply like silverfish between the pages of our books. Are you satisfied now? Do you remember what the note said? No, I on only that I found the contents nonsensical and disturbing. The remaining legible part read the red bird. You don't know what that could be? A scrap from some beastary? I couldn't say. My eyes watch the heavens, not the trees. Although, we do not see many red birds at this altitude. A common robin, perhaps, or a swallow. But that doesn't matter. I'm telling you it was nonsense. I suppose that will have to do. Thank you. Excellent. Are we done here? I will leave you in peace. Be well, Prior Ferenc. Be well, Master Mahler. <laughs> defensive, defensive and evasive. I don't think Ferenc did it. Right? I think he's telling the truth. Right? Like I said, things about it just don't add up. Let's check the scriptorium. Anything else? No. Hmm. Who all could I have a meal with that might shed more light on it? Maybe Sabat? I don't know. Hmm. How many days do I have left? One? I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember where it said how many days we had left. Hmm. Yeah, where did it say that? Yeah, I have no idea. Okay. Huh. Where would we find Illuminata if we were looking for her? Dormitory, maybe? Let's poke around a bit. At the Abbey, at least. About over here at the church, maybe? Old Bailey, sacristy. Let's check the sacristy. Oh, we can investigate this stuff now? The armoires hold all of the vestments Father Garno and Brother Matthew used during Mass. Probably where the funds of the Abbey are stored. The sacristy is also the treasury. Monstrance, chalice, paten, ciborum. Nod purificator. Almost everything. And purificator. Almost everything you need for something. Fuck, I don't know. I guess it wasn't that important. How about the old Bailey? Oh, that's where we were. Go back to the church. Okay. Anyone in here? Nah. You can check the crypt again, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, still can't interact with that. Okay. 
and then the tower. Good. And then... Huh. We check the dormitory. I guess we'll go back to the cloister. There we are. Oh, that's the dormitory again. Kitchen and cellar. Cemetery. Was there anywhere that the cemetery led to that we should investigate? There's the old bailey again. Animal pens. Let's check the animal pens. Maybe there's someone interesting hanging out here this time of day. The abattoir. We've never been in there. Hmm. Okay. Let's head back to the large garden. Alright. Anything of interest here? Abbott House, we can go in. Take a peek. There's a fun-loving dog. Goes back to the lower abbey, but it's locked as always. Okay. Chapter House, Refectory. And Kitchen and Cellar. Let's check the Kitchen and Cellar. Cellar is locked. Nobody in here. Okay. Let's check the refectory. Ah. Lucas, I haven't talked to you since the killing. Now you've got nothing to say. Hello. So says Lucas. Oh, Adik, I haven't talked to you in a while. God bless you, Andreas. Gerno? Andreas? Volkbert. Good day, Andreas. Right. The lector. Rudiger. God bless you, Andreas. Matthew. God bless you, Andreas. Florian. God bless you, Andreas. Guy. Good day, Andreas. Hmm. <laughs> I do like uh, that Rudiger and Matthew are facing one another. <laughs> okay. Good shit. Let's head over here. Good, good, good. Man, do you think at some point in the game, someone will find out and it'll be some, like, bad shit going down? Man. Okay. So there's the refectory. We've been in the refectory, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go into the courtyard and lavatorium. I haven't had to wash my hands. I guess that's presumed to occur, right? Just as we don't have to, like, use the restroom every day. Okay. Large garden, monastery, aquarium, chapter house, infirmary. Let's check the infirmary real quick. Anything of interest in here? St. Luke, patron of artists, is also the patron of healers. See that? Most of these medicines were made by Agnes Steinharen, Steinharen, with some help from Sister Gertrude. Right, we still also have, um, one of the big loose ends was, was it Gertrude? I forget, but the, the sister, the nun, who is hard, well, not hard of seeing, but is completely blind. She smelled a peculiar scent. On the night of the murder. We still don't have any, like, link to that. We don't have an explanation for it. And Martin as well. Martin has gone missing. Okay, we're in the loquarium now. There's the church again. Nothing of interest in here. Go back to the cloister. Chapter house. Anything new with these? Dance of Death, Mural, Mural, Father Matthias had it painted a few years before his death. It's beautiful. Right. Huh. Large Garden? Chapter House. Okay. 
Let's head on back to the cloister. And the upper abbey. Anyone out here? The shrine. Oh, hey. Oh, I think we won't be able to talk to them. They look very much in prayer. Gertrude? God bless you, Master Mahler. God bless you, Master Mahler. Margaret. Yep. Okay. Oh, Matilda. We can actually speak with you. God bless you, Master Mahler. May I ask you some questions, some questions, Sister Matilda? You know Mother Cecilia doesn't like us talking to men unless it's truly necessary. Ah, oh, forgive me, I'll leave you to your work. Thank you, Master Mahler. Hmm. I don't know where Illuminata hangs out, though. Maybe just tending to the library all fucking day. Huh. Let's oh. pet little Mousefanger. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm not sure how we'll ever get to meet with Illuminata. Huh. Convent Laquarium? Nope, nothing here. We meet with her whenever we do, like, work at the Scriptorium. Right? Okay. Over this way. Hmm. Upper Abbey? Hmm. Lower Abbey on the outside? Yeah. We could have a meal with the wife of the of the Baron, but I don't think we should do that. Right? I think for tonight we have a meal with uh, Sabat. Right? Okay. Yeah. I think when next we come back, we'll have a meal with Sabat and see what's up. Right? We promised one early on. Okay. Well, until next time, please take care of each other.